Alone Together, a DS9 Companion, Episode 5, Priorities. Julian Bashir and Elam Garrick have learned that Jadzia is suffering from a mysterious ailment and that Bajor may be in the midst of some political intrigue. After procuring safe passage for Jadzia aboard the USS Akira, Quark is working with Jake as they continue to investigate the destruction of two starships at the Alpha Quadrant entrance to the Bajoran wormhole. Though frustration is increasing, they seem to be making progress. In our last episode, Castellon Garrick and Dr. Bashir learned of a brain bajoran collaboration that could have wide-reaching consequences for the entire Alpha Quadrant. It has been suggested that Kai Kira may be connected to the project. Quark was able to use his resources to bring Jetsia back to Deep Space Nine. Jake Sisko theorized that Section 31 may be responsible for misrepresenting the wormhole incidents as accidents. Jetsia is under medical care for unusual symptoms, and Julian is concerned her future may be in danger. Mission log, stardate 74826.1. I'm still about 15 light years from the wormhole. Upon my return to Deep Space Nine, I intend to isolate a surgical suite within a security field to prepare for Jadzia's arrival. There's no telling what motivation someone might have to harm a person brought back from the dead. The USS Akira is about 10 light years behind me. This should give me the lead time I need to make the necessary preparations. Bashir to Kira. Julian, how are you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I'm actually contacting you to see if you're all right. Me? Well, <laughs> I spend my days walking the path the prophets laid out for me. Stress is hardly a constant companion. I, I worry about the hearts and minds of the people of Bajor, but the Politicians worry about the rest. Um, why is that? W why is what? You, I mean, you said you worry about the hearts and minds of your people. Well, I'm a vessel for the prophets, Julian. And I've learned that the path that they laid out for me is always going to lead me here. There's a great deal of uncertainty in the galaxy and the people of Bajor know that the prophets have a plan for us, but it isn't always clear. But they do communicate with you. From time to time, yes, but as even the emissary would attest, their messages aren't always clear. Have the prophets spoken to you recently? Um, or Cisco? Julian, oh, I'm sorry. My communion with the prophets isn't to be shared casually, but I have to say, this is not typically what we talk about. Nerys, are you in danger? Danger? You can talk to me. My channel is secure, believe me. No, I've never doubted you, Julian. Uh, you're one of the people I trust the most, but what is this all about? Nerys, I know all about the Breen Project. The Breen. Nerys, I mean, Eminence, forgive me, please. Julian, I, I don't know what you're talking about. The Breen have no formal relationship with Bajor. They certainly have no relationship with me. Beyond my occasional counsel with our ambassador to the Confederacy, I, you know, I'm beginning to feel like I'm being accused of something. You were seen community. No, you weren't. Gosh, I'm a fool. Julian, are you all right? I will be, soon enough. I, 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 I apologize, Nerys. I thoughtlessly mistook you for someone else. Well, whoever she is, she must be lovely. Hardly. I'll try not to take that personally, but Julian. It's okay. Rather, um, it will be. Julian, know that you can trust me. And if there's anything I can do to help, I'm more than willing. Well, putting up with my nonsense is more than enough. Oh, well then I guess I've been helping you for a long time now. Always. Take care. I'll be in touch as soon as I can. I may have some good news for you and I'm so sorry. 
You always leave me with a mystery, Julian. That's all part of my job. Take care, Nerese. You too. And Julian, walk with the prophets. I'll do my very best. Quark! Quark, are you there? Jake? Jake, what's wrong? Quark, I'm, uh, I'm leaving Earth in a few minutes. I'll be in touch when I can. Oh, what's happened? Are you coming to... Uh, this isn't a secure channel. Quark, it's Julian. We, 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 we can't trust him. I Jake. gotta go, I'll be in touch. Jake! Jake! We can't trust Julian? Computer, open a secure channel to the USS Akira, terminal beta 39. Julian, it's good to see you. You too, how are you feeling? To be honest, I'm not sure. Well, Dr. Tell sent me her preliminary report. She said she's started you on a corticosteroid regimen. It should help stabilize your condition. I'm so sick of doctors. I'm sorry. Julian, what do you want from me? Jadzia, I'm calling to check on you. Jadzia? I need you to focus for a moment. Can you do that? Of course I can. There are some irregularities in your neurological scans. Dr. Tell has begun a treatment regimen. I think you're going to be okay. I'm not sure I am. Um, I understand. Of course, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to check in on you. Um, why don't you get some rest and I'll contact you soon. Okay, doctor. Computer, how long until we reach the wormhole? ETA, 22 minutes. Assuming a velocity of warp nine, when will the Akira arrive at Deep Space Nine? Based on last known coordinates at warp nine, the USS Akira should arrive at Deep Space Nine in approximately three hours, 45 minutes. About four hours behind me. Incoming transmission. Now what? Op open a channel. Julian. What is it? Oh, Julian. Oh, why the long face? You look like you've seen a ghost. Hardly. I see. Then maybe you've seen the next best thing. Get to the point. I always knew that if I lost contact, she would contact you. Now, whomever could you mean? Where are the clones? Send in the clones. Is there a point <laughs> to your call? Oh. Oh, you know, you used to be a lot more fun. Yes, well, I used to be more patient and I've lost my patience for your games. There's so much more to lose than just patience. Perhaps you're right. You know, perhaps our collaboration is coming to an end. I'll see you soon, Julian. Wait. Transmission ended at the source. Computer, can you determine the origin of the comm signal? Communication signal originated from a mobile source in the Alpha Quadrant. She must know what we're planning. Computer, open a channel to Quark at Deep Space Nine. Doctor, what can I do for you? Quark, good. Um, listen, I don't have much time to explain. Section 31 is aware of Jadzia's presence and may be en route to the station. We may not be able to trust the officers sent there by Starfleet security. Trustworthiness seems to be in short supply right now. What does that mean? No. What do you think I should do? I'm going to program an emergency sequence to transport Jadzira into a protected area of the infirmary. Tell no one of this, please. I'll be back at the station shortly. I want you to go through the station manifest and determine the most isolated quarters so that I can add that to the emergency sequence. After Starfleet security takes Jadzira into custody, we'll need to move her to a secure location until we know who can be trusted exactly? Well, you definitely need to know who can be trusted. Agreed. Thanks, Quark. And listen, I'm sorry that I was so short with you when we last spoke. You were able to get Jadzia safely on her way home, and I'm deeply grateful. Credit what credit is due, Julia. So, 
I'll assume that wasn't a pun on my height. Have you ever heard what happens when you assume? I'm not sure I know what that means. I'll explain when I get back to the station. It looks like we have more work to do and I'll see you soon, okay? Julian can't be trusted. Starfleet security can't be trusted. There's two Kiras. Jadzi is back from the dead. <laughs> Just another day on Deep Space Nine. Incoming transmission. Sender is requesting use of a secured channel. Of course they are. Computer, make it the usual. Open a channel. Secured channel. The usual. Open. Clark, are we okay to talk? <laughs> Isn't that usually in my line? Clark. My channel is secure. Now, what did you mean that we can't trust Julia? I smuggled a couple of pads out of Starfleet Security Headquarters. According to what it says, Starfleet Security began receiving mission records from Section 31 as part of an agreement they made 25 years ago. 25 years ago? But Section 31 isn't supposed to be an official agency. Yeah, well, apparently there was a joint surveillance agreement on Romulus. There are no formal ties. Section 31 still doesn't report to Starfleet or the Federation, but they do let Starfleet security know about missions after they've been completed. A single pad containing whatever they're willing to share is delivered. No other records. So what have you got? Uh, I don't have much. I, mean, I couldn't afford to spend much time on the site, but what I do have is in rare supply. Confidential informant told me where the pads were and said I might be able to find out more about the wormhole incidents. And did you find? Quark, Julian is an agent for Section 31. Makes sense. What? Before you contacted me, Julian said Section 31 was after Jadzia. But you, you, you didn't tell him what I said, did you? <laughs> what is this, my first day? Of course not. But now, I know how he could know what they were up to. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. Jadzia? Yes, Jadzia. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone? Nobody told me. It's for her protection. And now... Maybe for yours. So keep it under your hat. You had enough on your plate. Okay, keep a secret I didn't know until 10 seconds ago. I got it. Wait, wh wh why would Julian warn you about Section 31 looking for, I can't believe I'm saying this, for Jadzia? If he's part of Section 31, wouldn't it make sense to tell you, wouldn't it not tell you what's going on? Good question. Unless he's working for them voluntarily, or maybe he wants out. Well, until I finish this data, I still don't think we can trust him, at least not completely. Agreed. He wants me to find an isolated area of the station to hide her from Starfleet security until Section 31 shows their cards. I feel like I'm scrubbing clams for my grandfather again. Clams? Yeah. Whenever I thought I got into the bottom of the bucket, he'd just bring out another one. <laughs> this feels like the biggest bucket in the world. Oh, uh, it's definitely a bucket of something. <laughs> Touche. All right. Julian should be back at the station in about a minute. I have a lot of work to do. And I have to find a way to hijack Zia from Julian, who is hiding her from Starfleet Security, because they may have an agent from Section 31. Jeez, my lobes are aching. Look, I'm on my way to Bajor. Nari said she'd protect me under diplomatic immunity until the Federation Council can be advised about potential corruption in Starfleet. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speaking of Nari, She may be the intendant from the other universe. Exactly. How did you know that? Jetsia may have mentioned something. Listen, Jake, that Talarian captain, Erdan... He filed a flight plan with the station to arrive hours ago. No one I've spoken to has any idea where his ship is. 
His departures and arrivals were fairly consistent. Something must have happened. All right. Well, I, I look forward to talking more, but I, I'm going to have to maintain communication silence until I get to the race. I just hope I make it to Bajor before Starfleet intercepts me. Let me know you're all right as soon as it's safe to resume communications, okay? Yeah, I'll be in touch as soon as I can. Agaric to Bashir. Garrick, am I glad to see you? Oh, it's always a pleasure, Doctor, but this is uh, hardly a social call. What have you got? Julian, there is a covert green base in the Chamra Vortex, yes. They have occupied an abandoned Dominion outpost, and it seems they are raising an army. An army? Apparently, Bejor is preparing to go to war, and the Breen are producing Jem Hadar. Gag, it's not Bejor. It's the Intendant. Well, that's worse. Yes, it is. All right, all right. I mean, the Jem Hadar are an immovable force. They'll stop at nothing to achieve their mission. She can't be allowed to control a single soldier. You couldn't be more right, but if the Breen are already producing the army- well, ethical considerations aside, my friend, that base has to be destroyed. It does. Computer. New course, set heading 183 mark 84 and engage at maximum warp. Well, at that uh, velocity, you should arrive in half an hour. 34 minutes. Oh, no need to be pedantic. You know, sometimes I, 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 I don't know what I see in you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, what are your armaments? A, a single shuttlecraft? I with... have 20 quantum torpedoes, three phaser cannons, and ablative armor. The Chumming is not just a shuttle. It's section 31 shuttlecraft with schematics of my own design. Ah, well. Assuming the outpost hasn't grown or been upgraded, three quantum torpedoes should suffice. I always try to prepare for the unexpected. Garrett, I need you to contact Quark and let him know there's a change of plans. He'll need I, to program the transporter sequence. Uh, he'll, he'll know what that means. Yes, yes, of course he will. All right, shall I dispatch a battleship in case you aren't able to get the job done in that small but formidable vessel of yours? Sure, I'll manage. They wouldn't arrive in time anyway, and the Breen will be tracking me the moment I enter sensor range. Yeah. However limited may be in that region, add any more ships to the fray and they'll go to red alert. Yes, you're right, of course. Um, oh, oh, and Julian, Captain Erdan is dead. His ship apparently exploded shortly after leaving the uh, Chambre Vortex. Why would he be there if not to deliver supplies? No cargo vessel would risk traveling through there unnecessarily. Well, yeah, precisely. The Tomer fields make it too risky to their bottom line. But if he had a stop to make. The pieces are beginning to fall into place. Yeah. Bashir out. Oh, what, what, what? what you see in me?